I'll do a word to your mum. I've got a polystyrene ring and some Christmas foliage that I bought from Tesco's for a tenner because I'm making a Gremlins Christmas wreath. To start with, I cover the polystyrene ring in the Christmas foliage, just using a hot glue gun. Be careful if that gets on your skin, it burns. Then I'm making a tiny gizmo to sit inside it. I use tin foil, then I cover it in Super Scope. That's that stuff there. You put it in the oven for around 15 minutes, uh, 155 degrees, 135 degrees, sorry. And it dries like hard plastic. I'm sculpting away. I've got some little plastic eyes there from Amazon as well. Unfortunately, they melted in the oven, so it didn't come out as well as I hoped it would do, but it still looks all right. There, all done. Cooked him in the oven, and now I'm covering him in fur using the hot glue gun again. It burns your skin if it gets on there, so be careful glued him all in. Now I'm going to make a gremlin's hand coming out of the reef so it looks like it's chasing gizmo. I'm using a wireframe and some more tinfoil then again wrapped in the super sculpe. Just doing the scales and such. Now look there it's all done. Ah, ah, clever. Now I'm going to paint it with acrylic paints. So I've got a reference picture there as you can see and I'm just painting him the colour of a gremlin which is sort of weird brownie green sort of colour like, like that. Looks like it doesn't it. Then I stick that inside, and there you have it, a Gremlin's Christmas Reef. Don't feed it after midnight, don't put it in the sunlight, and don't get it wet. And don't ask me for a fact sheet, because I don't have one. Good luck with your business. Oh, I forgot to mention, I made some little balls and decorated it with the little balls that pop off Gizmo when he gets wet. Because when he gets wet, balls pop off him, don't they? He gets loads of balls coming out of him. Oh, and look, I burnt my finger. Look at that, it looks like a pig's bum hole. Ouch, what a dingbat.